Hello and welcome back to video three for topic two, computer organization. Here we're gonna be explaining the use of cache memory. This is for the IB diploma in computer science. Okay, as you can see, topic two, part of the four core units. So here we go. We're almost at the end of this first section, computer architecture. We've then got to cover secondary memory, operating systems, binary, and simple logic gates. Okay. So the objective of this is to understand the role and the function of cache memory in a computer system. We're here to explain the effect of cache memory in speeding up the system, differentiate between level one and level two cache, and possibly look at level three cache, explain how cache memory is used and its impact on overall system performance. First of all, we need to know that cache is a type of high-speed memory located close to the processor. Okay, here we go, the CPU. There are two main types of cache, level one, which sits within the CPU, just see it peep in here, look, and level two, which sits between the RAM, RAM here, and the CPU, this one here. Cache memory helps speed up processing by storing frequently used instructions and data. Okay, so what is it? Cache memory is high-speed RAM, yeah, okay, built into the processor or near to it. It temporarily stores frequently or recently used data and instructions for quick access. Cache memory is volatile, which means when we turn the computer off, okay, all the information that's in cache or in RAM is, is, is lost, is gone. So cache memory, like RAM, is gone, okay, when the computer is turned off. Two main types, as I've just mentioned, level one, located within the CPU, small in size but extremely fast. It stores the most frequently used instructions and data. Whereas level two is situated, located between RAM and the CPU. It's larger in capacity than level one cache, but it is slower. It stores less frequently accessed data and instructions. So in terms of speeding up the system, cache stores frequently accessed data, I think I've said this a few times, and instructions, reducing the time the CPU needs to fetch this information from RAM. It's faster read and write speeds than RAM, allowing for quicker access and improved system performance. Cache allows the processor to access data in nanoseconds, while accessing data from RAM takes longer. Okay, it reduces the CPU wait time. Cache minimizes the time the CPU spends waiting for data to be fetched from the RAM. It's faster data processing. The more cache memory, the more frequently used data can be stored for quick access, speeding up the system. Balanced performance. Having enough cache improves performance, but too much cache can slow down data retrieval due to longer search times. Just a little look at the advantages and disadvantages of cache. Obviously it's faster, okay? But it is more expensive than RAM. It improves the overall CPU performance, but it does have a limited storage capacity, okay? It holds recently used data, but as we mentioned, too much cache can slow down data access if the data retrieval process takes too long and it ensures the system runs more efficiently by reducing CPU idle time. Okay, in terms of cache memory versus RAM, cache memory is closer to the CPU. It's faster than RAM memory, it's more expensive than RAM memory, and it comes in different levels, level one and level two. There are no levels for RAM, but you might be familiar that RAM does come in different types. There is a third level. Now you might be aware that some of the syllabus is quite old and Although we do talk about level one cache and level two cache, there is level three cache, which is located on the motherboard or shared among multiple CPU cores, larger than level two, but slower. It provides additional storage to help manage data, but doesn't fit in level one or level two. Okay, so there are three levels of cache, okay? And you'll need those in a moment because we're gonna do a little exam question, okay? So in summary, Cache memory significantly enhances system performance by reducing the time it takes for the CPU to access frequently used data. Level one cache is small and fast, while level two cache is larger but slower. Cache memory balances between improving speed and system cost due to its limited size and high manufacturing expense. Okay, as always, we have three questions, a two marks, a four marks, and a six marks in this case. Question one, define cache memory and its role in a computer system, two marks. Question two, describe the difference between level one, level two, and level three cache memory. And question three, explain how cache memory improves the performance of the computer system. Okay, I want you to explain this one for six marks. So if you want to have a little go at these, please pause the video. If not, here we go. Okay, so question one, cache memory is a type of high-speed memory that stores frequently accessed data and instructions. 
Okay, it helps speed up processing by reducing the time the CPU spends fetching data from the main memory, e.g. RAM. Question two, level one cache is the smallest and the fastest cache and it's loca located within the CPU. Okay, and it stores the most frequently accessed data. Whereas level two cache is larger but slower than level one and it's located somewhere between the CPU and RAM and it stores less frequently used data. Level three cache is the largest and slowest of the caches and it's typically shared between multiple CPU cores, providing additional storage for data not fitting into level one or level two. And finally, question three, cache memory improves performance by reducing the time the CPU spends waiting for data. It stores frequently or recently used data and instructions, allowing the CPU to access them quickly. This minimizes access to slow main memory, or RAM, speeding up overall performance, okay, and processing time. Multiple levels of cache, level one, two, and three, provide a hierarchy that balances speed and size, ensuring that the most important data is accessed quickly. However, if there is too much cache, finding the needed data can take longer, reducing efficiency. Okay, that is it for video three. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.